Hello guys, um, I'm going to record this video in English. Is well, my work is pretty much all in English, but uh, it's been a long time since I haven't recorded uh, something in English. So excuse me if I make some mistakes because this is not my native language. Is my native language is Spanish, and but I live in Russia, so <laughs> you know the language is messed up sometimes. Okay, uh, this video is about how to create um, Visual Studio uh, solution templates or project templates because you can find a lot of tutorials about project templates but sometimes when your solu when what you want to do is something that is multi-project um, there is no tutorial avail available so after doing a lot of reading I managed to to make a multi a multi-project solution template. So that's what we're going to do today. So first, let's create, I mean, the base project. Let's call it like that. Um, here, new. And I'm going to create a Windows Form application. Let's see, Windows Form time. Classic desktop here. And this is going to be UI project. And then we're going to create some other project. And this, that's going to be a class library. And we're going to call this data access. So, in here we have the both, both projects that we want. What we're going to do is do some customization so you can see that it's actually working. I think my mouse is crazy now. Yeah, I need a new mouse. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a few controls. There's a text box text box here and let's add um, a button and as always we're going to call this button change the text the caption actually no, text is hello world as always okay and that's it that's what we're going to do in here throw new not implemented exception good so next what we're going to do is well let's add something else to the other in here I'm going to add a new class just to uh, demonstrate that it's actually working. This is going to be data access class. It's going to be public and we're going to have a constructor which will be empty pretty much and then we're going to have a method that's going to be connect to database here throw new not implemented exception and that's it so what we're going to do next is Oh, sorry my mouse is failing uh, we do here we go to file then export template and then we do a project template in this case we're going to export the first one the UI project the name needs to be like 
quite simple. If you use spaces, it won't work. So I'm going to leave it like that, like UI template. Uh, here I'm going to name it Windows Forms application. Uh, no. Uh, okay, this is better. And that's it. And, and here I'm going to display the output, but I'm not going to import it in, into the into the templates. And we do finish. Then we're going to do the same for the data access. And that's it. Uh, we here, yeah, we're not going to do this, but we're going to do this instead. Okay, so now we have both projects, right? We have the UI and the data access. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a folder. And this is going to be template. Then we put this here. We extract them. Okay, so we have uh, now both folders. We don't need this anymore, but you can leave it there if you want. So I've been doing templates and templates test. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to copy one of the the files that I've been using for the other template. So in this case, we put this. This is basically an H. Uh, no, it's an XML file. So you can name it whatever you want. In this case, we're going to put sample template. But the extensions need, the extension needs to be BS template. So um, in here we go to each folder and we have we have the same pretty much the same file. So we're going to make a file which will point to this file and the other file here to this one. So you can customize this. Basically, these are uh, XML. If you feel like modifying the description or whatever, you can do it. And here's the list of files that the template contains, actually. So, but in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is. Then what you need to do is go here and edit this file. In I'm using Notepad++. In here you can set the language to XML and then you can be you can see the colors and everything. So uh, in the important in here you can customize the name, description and the type if you want but yeah I'm going to customize this in this case. Okay, so the default name is going to be Hochi application. So in here, this template used to contain three projects, but we're only going to use two, so we're going to remove this. And then here is the folder, the name of the folder where the BS template for that project is. So in this case, uh, let's see, one will be this one, so we're going to copy the name. And the name of the file is... my template in this case. Now we're going to do the other. We copy the folder name. And then the name of the template is basically the same. 
and in here you can add some other um, uh, prefix or suffix to the solution name so you can be like with a convention in this case we're going to name this which is the data access we're going to name it dal at the end for data access layer and in this we're going to put windows app and we save it we close it and in here we add everything to a zip but the original zip files so we'll, we will add the bs template file and both directories as they are right now so send compress zip and this is going to be name it ui project template i don't know if long names are supported like this but let's give it a try and see what's happened so then you copy this you go to visual studio then templates project templates and you can uh, whatever category e is it you put it on that it doesn't matter you can put it in visual basic if you want so but in here we want to put it here this is the one that i created before that is uh, for is for a template for summary so we're going to paste it there and that's it now that when you open a, a studio which I think is taking a long time now. Here is. Then you do new project and your template is going to be on the category that you put uh, the zip file. So in this case, C sharp. And here somewhere it will be my template so I this is the one I created before with the MBBM and this is the new one we're going to name this uh, UI test no 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 template app test and there it is the same files the class one the data access all the namespace have been changed change it to the to whatever is corresponding the form should be the same the hello world button the text box everything is the same but the naming convention is the one that we select for this project so now you have a template so you can like create your boiler pre code and then create a template so you save that time every time for example i use xamarin a lot and every time I have to add the same reference, the same NuGet packages, and that takes time. If you have to add 20 NuGet packages, it takes you like one hour, because sometimes it fail, blah blah blah. So it will be better to have a template. That's what I'm doing now, uh, which will save me a lot of time. That's why I was researching this subject. So, well, uh, again, uh, you can contact me in my Facebook page. And I'm going to put the template file, I mean, the file that we use as a group. I mean, in this case, this one. So you can uh, edit. Well, I'm going to put all of them, actually, which will be basically this. So you can create your own and if you want you can take this file as, as an example so I'm going to put that on my OneDrive it's going to be shared and I'm going to put the link on the description and I hope this is the first of of my videos in English I have another I have some others that I haven't done before but uh, those are quite old so I'm going to start with SAF and and summary in English again. So, well, it was a pleasure as always. So, see you in the next video. Bye.